Hi there Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your love reading for September 25th through October 1st. This is intended to be a love reading. I'm going to use these three decks or four decks that I have pre-shuffled a little bit for you. We're going to see what comes up for love. September 25th through October 1st for Taurus. Five of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Wands, the Four of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, or the Fool, sorry. <laughs> I was moving too fast again. Five of Cups, Page of Swords, Five of Wands, Page of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and Knight of Cups. All right, so the center of your reading is the Page of Swords. This is a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. It's also something very challenging. This week there's going to be some conflicts, okay? Right off the bat, that's the center of your reading. That's the basis of your reading in this spread is that Page of Swords. There is going to be some conflict, so beware. Be cautious. Somebody could be cutting you down or gossiping or... Uh, watching you, stalking you, you could be doing that to somebody else, okay? So it always goes vice versa. Um, but either way, there's some kind of, um, you need to be aware, all right? You need to be aware and be cautious because it looks like, you know, there's some challenges this re week right off the bat. We do have, um, you know, we have some good cards too. We have this one right here. This is the Four of Wands. This is about contentment, about commitment. Um, but you're feeling so insecure, and I'm not sure why, but you're feeling insecure. You're feel There's been some kind of loss, or there's going to be some kind of loss. Perhaps there's a loss in a relationship, or you're considering you know, moving away from a, late, a relationship. Either way, there's some kind of loss. We do have a fire sign here as well. Um, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. We do have um, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. And that's who we have so far. All right. So either way, I mean, there's good stuff here, and there's some, you know, stuff that isn't so good. So there's some challenges. There's some sadness. But it all works out because with the wheel here, good luck is on the way. This is part of destiny. It's meant to happen. Okay, we can't always have ups. We got to have ups and downs. And it looks like this is a down week, but the wheel is turning in our favor. Okay, this is for Taurus. Um, there's a lot of fives here. Fives are about change and conflicts and um, power struggles. Expect the unexpected this week something could happen that you totally don't see coming you could have somebody that is against you okay with that page of swords right in the middle libra um aquarius or gemini they could be you know i don't know trying to sabotage you in some way i'm not sure how but they could be so just beware um you're gonna you're about to start a new journey or you're thinking about starting a new journey it looks like you just want peace and you and that's what you're looking for you're looking for peace you just want to move to a better spot and this week some of you could actually be doing that okay um here we have the Four of Swords. I think there's been some depression. I think that you're, you've maybe you've just taken some time or you will be thinking about taking some time to just go within and be by yourself because I think something is going to come up that's going to make you retreat, okay? And you're going to have to 
take some time to rejuvenate your soul, okay? It looks, I mean, it looks like there's conflicts this week for sure, so beware. Keep your eyes peeled, you know, use the eyes in the back of your head. Um, watch out for people's body language. Um, it, yeah, just do that because it looks like there's, there's, there could be some hurt, okay? Um, there's some, I think maybe there's some resistance of some sort and you, maybe it's resistance to change. You know, there's a lot of conflicts here and I think that you might be resisting the change and just riding, riding with the storm, you know, um, this is leaving the situation. I think that you want to leave a situation. Definitely. You want to leave a situation and somebody might be a very, very upset over that. Or somebody is leaving you and you're very upset over that. You know what I mean? It looks there could be, you know, a lot of sadness over somebody leaving a situation. Okay? That's all there is to it. Um, this is about where you're going to, this is the fork in the road. It's, and that's exactly where you're at. I think you're about, you want to do some change. I think that you are about to change your path. You're really thinking about it a lot, okay? Um, you could you could be with one person or some. it looks like you have a couple choices here. Uh, it feels to me like you might have more than one suitor. You might have one person you, you you do. I think you have more than one suitor. I think there's two people in the mix. And if it isn't you, it's the other person you're with in your relationship has has another choice. Somebody has another choice, and that's all there is to it. And I think that's where all the conflicts lie. Is you know that's where they that is definitely where they lie. I think that um, there's a lot of insecurity, feeling like you're a victim, feeling stuck in a situation, like you can't move. Um, instability sadness all right and you're gonna have to have courage and strength all right that page of wands says that this this there you're gonna have to struggle through this don't back down you, you know that sometimes you tend to be a little stuck you know you stay stuck in a spot because you don't dare to move forward you know you just don't have the guts or something the page of wands next to this knight of coins which is you in this reading so far is telling you that you you're going to have to struggle through it stop resisting it stop resisting it there's too many conflicts there's too many disagreements okay you've been wanting to start this new journey for a long time you've been wanting to move towards peace you've been wanting to leave this behind or they, you know, I think that you want to leave something behind, even if you're just still emotionally attached to it and you haven't left it behind. This Two of Wands said it's time, it's time to change your course, okay? Just beware because I think you have uh, somebody that will not be happy with you this week. So beware, okay? And they can be very spiteful. So there's some spiteful energy, okay? And it's going to cause you to retreat. That's all there is to it. It looks like this week there's conflicts. I'm sorry to tell you that. In love. There might be some very spiteful energy. And it's and it hurts. Karma. Yeah, there might be an unexpected choice in love. Now, this could be for you or with the other person, but there's an unexpected choice in love for somebody here, okay? So, this is a Gemini, but it could be any sign, okay? Because we do have the air, the air signs, we do have the earth signs, and we do have the fire signs. The only ones I don't really see yet are the uh, water signs. They haven't come out prominently. But here, this is the Six of Cups. This is reminiscing about the past. It's also somebody from your past that could come back into your life, or maybe they have. Or you might be thinking about somebody from the past. That could be the case. This is unexpected choice in love, which I've already said. It's where somebody pops in, and the, the attraction is so strong that you can't break away from it. Now, this could be you or the other person. There's sadness, great sadness underneath it. 
okay? You have the two breakup cards here, or the two split cards, the Five of Cups and the Eight of Cups, all right? And you have the Five of Cups twice. So this is telling me that there's a lot of sadness this week, and, you know, it's meant to be because we have the karma card here. It is, it's, it was a karmic debt that is probably about to be paid off because we have the Wheel of Fortune. That's when, that's a completion. It's when one phase of your life ends and a new one begins, okay? And you have been resisting it like all get out. You have the Four of Pentacles twice that is resisting it, okay? You have definitely been resisting this change, but I think that you're finally having a breakthrough this week. Maybe some secret became revealed that you already knew about because your intuition is right on. And, you know, somebody isn't happy that you found out about this or somebody isn't happy about you at all. They're not happy with you. Okay? And I think it causes a lot of hurt. All right? You are going to have a breakthrough. You're going to have an awakening that is, is going to change things. Okay? Um... Let's see what we can get with these Angel Romance cards. We're looking for love. I see conflicts and sadness this week, and I'm sorry to tell you that. I think somebody might be, you know, somebody has either um, is either leaving you behind or you're leaving them behind. You know, just leaving the situation, finally. And it's not like, I mean, it's kind of like you knew about this. You knew this was coming. And you may, if you're not with this person still, it may be somebody from the past that you are still emotionally attracted or emotionally attached to okay maybe this this your partner that you were emotionally attached to has found somebody else and that hurts really really bad um they could there's so many different scenarios okay so now we're work, working on the angel romance cards Once again, I forgot to zoom that in for you guys. All right. So the first one is, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. If you notice, that's right over this somebody from the past. So if you're thinking about, this is going to resonate with some and not for all. If you're thinking about somebody from the past, okay, could be a childhood, could be somebody that you dated a long time ago, not from your recent past. Okay, this is somebody from a long time ago. Could be even a past life, not recent. Whoever comes to mind when I say this, this could be the one. But it's not somebody that you dated six months ago. Okay? Just saying. Or two weeks ago. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Free yourself. This is a big deal, and it's right in the middle. Right over the karma card. Right over the karmic debt. It is time. You've been resisting it. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Absolutely. 100%. Getting to know each other. This is with the new. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Mm -hmm. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. If there's this unexpected choice in love, follow your heart. Follow your heart in your intuition. Deception. That's why somebody's all pissed off and unhappy. Because you might have found out a secret or you be finally become aware. There is a wake-up call here with the karma card and this, this um, high priestess. That's the intuition. That's a secret. That I think that you have been being deceived and you finally get it. You finally realize it. Okay? So and it hurts. It really, really hurts. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And and if you know, it could be that somebody from the past has come into somebody else's life, you know, your partner's life. I mean, I'm just I'm just saying, there's all different kinds of scenarios here. You're going to have to pick and choose which resonates with you and your partner. Or if you're single, you know, um, you're holding on to somebody that is that you are emotionally attached to. All right? Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Free yourself and flirt. Express your love. Okay? Now we're going to get one of these. 
This is for September 25th through October 1st. Anyhow, the center of your reading, the basis of your reading, is the Page of Swords. All right. That is observation. That is, that is somebody observing you, watching you, spiteful, judgmental, um, intense, uh, cautious. Be cautious because you never know what they're going to do. All right? There's challenges with this person right in the middle. Do something for someone else. I'm going to turn that a little bit for you. Number 41. Do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. Well, that says a lot, doesn't it? When we focus on doing something kind for someone else, we create an opportunity for our relationships to be re-energized. What can you do today to be considerate towards someone in your life? Small things can have a big imp impact. Imagine how amazing your life will be if you give emphasis to do kind, loving things for others. The main thing it says on this card to me for this reading, which applies, is give your attention to someone else. That is the message for this week. And I think that somebody is not going to be happy about it. So beware. That's what I have for this week. Talk to you later.